And a music festival spanning over four days in four communities with more than 60 shows. For the past five years, Viva Big Bend has attracted thousands to West Texas for live music. Local News' Libby Zabata explains what the event means for one community involved every year. I'm at the Railroad Blues Bar where the fifth annual Viva Big Bend Music Festival is wrapping up. And I spoke to locals here in Alpine who tell me this event is the highlight of the summer. This is one of the biggest events for this city and it does such great things for the local community. It's a showcase for these local artists. It's great business for all of the restaurants and all of the hotels. Chef Marcus Van Winden working hard to keep up with the extra business. Uh, it's uh, at least three times if it's not four times as busy as it normally would be. The fifth annual Viva Big Bend Music Festival, something he and his kitchen staff looking forward to all year long. We're planning at least uh, uh, two weeks out to, to, to already get, get, get um, ourselves already prepped up for, for this week, um, twi twice as big, big, uh, big orders uh, coming in. The entire city feeling the extra traffic. Alpine local Alicia Fernball with the Holland Hotel says she's happy to see so many new faces. That it brings a crowd to the area who may not otherwise otherwise come here. We're very popular with, you know, people who are here for the parks and outdoors and hiking and, you know, and so it's just, it's an entirely different crowd. Festival producer Stuart Ramser says the event has grown significantly in the last five years. The first year we just did Alpine and Marfa, and then we added shows in Marathon and Fort Davis in year two. But we had about 50 shows in the first year, and now we have, you know, 60, 65 shows. So a little bit more live music, a little more venues. And for the dozens of performers like Mike Harmeyer and his band of Mike and the Moon Pies, this is one festival that keeps him coming back. From the very first year, I knew it was something we were going to do for, for as long as we could. So um, I plan on continuing to do it <laughs> for as long as the band's still together. Festival organizers tell me they're already planning for next year in hopes of making the event bigger and better. Reporting in Alpine, Loopy Sapatha, Local 2 News. All right, some fun stuff. Thanks, Loopy. The live music is planned to wrap up tonight around 1 a.m. with the Doodle and Hog Wallops at the Railroad Blues Bar in Alpine. Tickets are $10 at the door.